Yes, welcome to my video. Um, today we are going to be covering the very basics of building electronic circuit. Um, so by the title of this video, you can see we're going to be using a program called Fritzing. And um, so if you don't have it already, pause the video and go download it. It's free. Um, the installation should be pretty straightforward. And so once you do that, you're going to be presented with this window. Um, now, what this program is going to do is going to allow us to prototype an electric circuit. Now, this circuit could be anything from powering a motor to just making a simple LED light up. I mean, it, it's, it has really everything you need for most, you know, simple projects. Um, so. The reason why we're going to be using this program is because if you are just getting started in, you know, electronics, um, you probably don't have anything lying around the house that is going, going to allow you to build what we are going to cover. Um, also, you may not enjoy it, so you don't want to invest in anything um, beforehand. So we're going to go over to this tab up here. We're going to click Fredboard. Now, what a breadboard is, it allows you to um, build a circuit without ne needing to solder anything. Um, so if you're, let's say you're building an LED and you'd never built one before, well, you don't want to like hardwire everything because if it doesn't work, it's kind of a pain in the ass to have to go desolder everything. And it's just not fun. So a lot of people use these breadboards because you just plug things into them and you can kind of hot swap uh, wires and parts and change things up as much as you want to get your circuit working. And once it's working, you can go ahead and, you know, actually build it on a PCB board. Um, and you'll notice we have a few other tabs up here. Um, in this video, we're not going to focus on it. Um, like I said, guys, this video is for someone who is completely brand new to electronics, has never touched or even thought about building anything. And hopefully I can uh, kind of motivate you to take it up as a hobby because it is very fun. Okay, so as you can see, we are presented with a breadboard. And there, there's a lot of holes. And we're not going to go too much into detail because um, I want this video to be kind of short, um, as short as I can possibly make it. There's kind of a lot of things we're going to have to cover. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll make it fun. Um, so we have all these holes, and what these holes are for is you can plug wires, LEDs, motors, whatever it is, you plug them into these holes, and you build a circuit on it, and you can change things as much as you want. So today, my first example is probably the most basic circuit you can build, and that is going to be, we're going to power an LED. It's not going to blink, it's not going to do anything, it's just going to turn on, and it's going to stay on. Okay, so I'm going to go very slow in this video. I'm going to explain everything I do, and it's, you know, it's going to be for anyone who is learning electronics, should be able to complete the project, um, and shouldn't have any problems with this video. It's going to be very, very basic. So here we have our breadboard. Now, if you notice, when I scroll over one of these holes, they light up. And if I click it and drag, I just, I made a wire. Um, so that is how we wire things. It's very simple. You can have a whole bunch of them, whatever. You can change the color of the wire. So you can change it to red to help you kind of, if you have a lot going on, um, it really helps to be able to change the colors um, in your circuit. So that's really awesome. So let's go ahead and delete all these. So very simple. Um, you can go ahead and pause the video if you want and kind of practice getting the hang of that. But we're going to move on. So um, I stated before, we're going to power an LED. The first thing we need when creating any um, electrical circuit and making sure it works is we need a power source. So we're going to go over to the right and we're going to make sure the core tab is selected. And this is going to have pretty much everything we're going to need for you know, the next 20 videos I make. So let's scroll down and let's find a battery. So under power, we have a battery. So we're going to click it. 
we're going to drag it on to, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and drag it on to our uh, window here. And we're going to change our battery source to 9 volt. So we're going to come down here, change that to 9 volt, just like that. We're going to rotate it so that our leads um, are facing our breadboard. So we're going to go to the bottom left right here. Hit rotate a couple times, and there we go. So now it is facing our breadboard. Okay, next we are going to need the most important part, the LED. So under output, towards the top, we have a red LED. So let's click it, and we're going to drag it. And you can change the color to a whole bunch of different stuff. I'm going to change it to red. Um, simple. And it works. So now you're probably thinking, oh, well, this is all we need. Well, it's actually not. Now, if we built this circuit with our breadboard, the LED, and the power source, it will light up. However, you're sending 9 volts um, directly to this little LED, and it's going to burn up. Um, if you don't believe me, um, you can buy a kit, and you can test that out for yourself. Um, I don't recommend that. Um, but what we need, we need to, we need to get some resistance. We need to, we don't want all that current going into our LED. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the very top. And of course, first thing is a resistor. These are huge in electronic design. So we're going to click it and we're going to grab. Now what this resistor does, it needs to go, when we wire the circuit, it's going to be in this order, right? So we're going to have the power source going into our little resistor, coming out the other end, going into the LED, and that's going to power our LED. So we definitely want a resistor. Um, don't worry if you don't really know what it is or if you don't know what that 220 ohm is. We're, we're not going to really cover that too much today. I just want this to be short, easy, and quick. So what we're going to do is we are going to plug in our LED. And we don't want, if you see where my mouse is and I go down like this, all these are part of the same uh, path, I guess that would be the right word. You don't want to plug um, the LED into both of these um, because it's going to short the circuit. What you want to do is you want to have one pin, and let's say right here, and you want the other pin right here. Okay, so just remember that. And if you notice, um, the LED has kind of one bit wire and one straight. This is very important. Um, so what this is called, it's called polarity. Um, because, and how that, why is that, why, sorry, why that's important is um, the current, like the electrons, they flow from positive to negative. They're attracted to the negative. Um, side of the circuit. Um, so one of these is a negative lead and one of them is a positive lead. A good way to tell is the flat side of the LED. I know it's kind of hard to see, but if you go around, so this is kind of round and this is flat. The flat side is our negative. So we're going to head, go ahead and drag that in right here. Positive is on this side and negative is on this side. Okay, so we have our LED in. The next thing we need is a resistor. So remember how I talked about polarity and how this resistor has to be um, oriented a certain way? Well, resistors, they don't have polarity. They can go any way they want. Um, doesn't matter. So we can just drag this in, and we're going to put it in the positive side of the LED, just like that. And you can see how these all light up, so this row is now connected to this row. So actually, I'm going to drag this over right there. Um, good. So, have our little circuit, but we need to get power to it. I'm going to grab our battery, I'm going to drag it right over here, and we need the positive lead. We're going to start with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag it in, and we're going to go right here, closest to the red side. Actually, it doesn't matter what side you put it on, but we're going to kind of use the breadboard. <clears throat> it says we should put it right here, so that's what we're going to do. 
And then we're going to take the negative and we're going to put it on the other side of the breadboard closest to the blue line, which is our negative side. <clears throat> now there's tons of different ways you can do this, but I want this to be very simple. And I believe this is the most, you know, easiest method to kind of get the idea across. So we need, we need to get power to this little circuit. Well, these aren't connected, right? So this green line is showing, yeah, hey, we have power, but it's not going to go anywhere. There's, it's not going to get here. So you probably guess that we need to take another wire and we're going to drag it into this line. And then now it's connected. So we have the current coming out of our positive, going into our rail here for the bus, going into our positive lead, into the resistor, into the LED. And there we go. But if you plug this in, it's not going to work. Because if you remember, the current, it, it needs to have, it's attracted to, it flows positive to negative. So right now, this, this circuit isn't connected to our negative side. So very simple. So we go on the negative side of the LED in here, and we can put our lead, and we can put it in our negative bus. In order to have that be black. Here is our circuit. If we were going to build this in real life, um, it would work completely. And I'm going to prove that to you by actually building this um, using, you know, these parts uh, probably next week. Um, because I really think you guys should um, kind of build along. I'm going to link um, a couple. Uh, I'm going to have a link to Amazon showing where you can buy these kits. Uh, I think they're like 7 to $15 and they should come with everything you need. Um, so, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is going to be one of many. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Um, if you're having trouble or maybe you already have the kit and it's not working, just shoot me an email or a comment and I will do my best to get back to you. Please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.